Good morning, everybody. This is V from Beyond the Q Kitchen, and today is Tuesday, March 16th. I went to go and move this little container here, and I noticed growth. Now, I only planted four seeds, and I've got three little seedlings, so I think I'm doing pretty good. Um, it is nice and sunny out today, so I was actually moving him into the, or outside, moved the pot outside. Um, these were actually sown, this is my Black Magic Kale, and it was sown on 3-12, which was Friday. Um, it has not had any grow lights on it, so it's been in my bathroom. Um, because <laughs> I under, I watered it from the bottom. I bottom watered it. Um, and I, after I bottom watered it last night, I woke up this morning about 6.30 and noticed that I had some little buds growing up. So I'm very excited. And we're going to go put this pot outside. But it's not going to be in direct sun. It's going to be just kind of outside in the shade. Just to let it get some fresh air and, you know, get acclimated to its surroundings there. Um, so, I also found some other exciting things popping up. Uh, they actually sprouted up on Sunday. No, Monday. Today's Tuesday. So, let me go show you what that is. Alright, I'm going to turn this sideways. This is what I like to call my micro green boat. Um, I sewed, these are uh, lettuce blends. Um, I believe they're from Eden Brothers by the look of the tag. Yeah, because I haven't started any of my in my gardener seeds yet. Um, so these were actually sown on the twelfth as well, and as you can see, at first they were a little slow, but I looked yesterday morning when I woke up, um, and look, there's life, all kinds of wonderful life. Um, now this has been under a grow light. It's been under the blue grow light um, to help it germinate. And I'm going to go ahead and put him out, um, put the boat outside um, where I put my kale and see how that goes. I will be bringing them in later tonight um, once the sun goes down. So yay, I've got a whole tray of uh, microgreens growing. I'm very excited about that because I love microgreens. Um, I think everything should be a microgreen. Uh, <laughs> don't worry, I will let some of the kale grow to grow to full size. Um, just because I love kale. So that's all for today. Again, today is Tuesday, March 16th, and this is my little microgreen grow boat. Look, you can even rock them. Not that they need to be rocked. Um, I do have a few holes on the bottom of this. I don't want to flip it over. Um, on the bottom there are some holes. And I keep it in a special tray that I actually just saved from one of my kids' birthday cakes. But it has, um, well, let me show you. Alright, so what this is, um, I kind of made myself a self-watering tray after watching Kevin from Epic Gardening, Young Master Luke from MI Gardener, um, and I was like, I got plenty of reusable, recyclable plastic trays. I can do this myself. And so I did. Um... <laughs> <laughs> this one has no holes in it. This one doesn't have any holes either. Um, but it has actually little, if you can see, this would actually also be great for seed starting, which is what I'm going to use it for next. Um, 
But what I did was I filled it with this water I just emptied out of it. And that way it didn't get too wet. And it wasn't sitting in complete water. But the holes that I have, I literally measured so that they were going to fit right here, right here, right here, and right here. So that it could soak up the water. And so when I put the little micro green boat, I don't want to move it too much. I'm unsettling his soil there. In here, there's a hole there. And a hole there. And a hole there. And a hole there. So when I set the little boat into the tray, these are full of water. And it soaked up, but it didn't drown my plant. So that's always good. This is actually planted in a mix of potting soil. That's um, two cups potting soil and half a cup of my worm castings. Because my worm castings are uber strong. Um, it's like pure castings. There's no soil left. So I didn't want them to get caked up, which is a problem I'm having with some other seedlings I have to replant. Um, and then a layer of cocoa core. Well, the seeds, I just took the packet and seeded the whole thing real heavy and just left it there and sprinkled some water over it. Don't you like my invisible hand movement? Uh, <laughs> just pretend there's something there watering. And uh, <laughs> sprinkled some water all over it to make it nice and moist. Now, the cocoa core had already been pre-moistened as well as the potting mix. So, I just really wanted to give the seeds a little bit of a sprinkle, and that's what I did. And then I put them under my blue grow lights, because that's what the little piece of paper said to do that came with it. Um, it said lettuce and nine hours under blue light. Uh, it also said seedlings were 12 hours under blue light. So... I figured they were lettuce and they were seedlings, so let's just use the blue light. And I used that instead of the blue and red or just the red. And um, they actually germinated a lot faster than some of the other ones I had on the blue-red mix. So I think I'll start doing that because the light um, direction said to put seedlings under just blue light. So, and it really seemed to have helped my germination a lot better. Um, so we're going to put these outside and I'm going to upload this video. But I'm probably going to be making some more videos today because I've got a lot of planting to do and repotting. Um, due to the fact that my, um, my worm compost, my vermicompost, um, mixes. <laughs> it's not a mix. It's just um, a lot of, shall we say, castings. It's, it's, in other words, it's a lot of poop. Um, so I've got to repot some things and see if maybe that helps. I've got a lot of plants that sprouted up really fast and then they just kind of stunted. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix the rest of the two little bags of potting soil I have here. Um, and mix just one cup of my vermicompost in with it because it is pure castings. It's so thick. Um, and when you get it wet, it's like, it, it, it might as well be clay because it's that rich. Um, so I'm hoping that with the potting mix and maybe mix about a cup of some coconut, uh, cocoa core in there, it might make it a little fluffier. Um, I actually ordered vermiculite and perlite two months ago and I still have not gotten it. They said it's just out and they don't know when it's going to be, you know, restocked. So, <laughs> found all the seeds. Now I'm having a problem getting stuff to make my vermicompost mix nice and airy and, a, you know. So, I'm just going to take a step back, turn around a few times, mix that up, see if that works. Just another cue for Beyond the Cue Kitchen. Y'all have a nice day.